I'm so confused right now. <laughs> you guys got me convinced, man. I just might go vegan permanently. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Salmon Food Surfer here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have the notification bell on. Be part of the notification gang. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you for the love and support. We're trying to reach our goal of a thousand subscribers this year and we're doing pretty well. We're gonna be uploading weekly for you guys. Anyways, let's talk about today's video. Shout out to my boy X for uh, today's locations. We're gonna be trying out two different vegan locations. Hopefully this goes well. I've never had a proper vegan meal, so our first location, we're gonna be trying out Mark of the Bistro, and then we're gonna be stopping by Bud Salt Lake City. Anyways, let's go. Hey, all right guys, so here we are at downtown. We're gonna go check out our first location, Mark of the Bistro. Let's go inside. All right, welcome to Mark the Beast Show, guys. Unfortunately, the indoor dining is unavailable right now due to COVID-19, but we do come equipped with the all-access pass thanks to the owner, Andrew Early. We're gonna be making us a vegan-style chicken and fries as well as their chopped cheese. The unique name, Mark of the Beast Show, actually comes from their address. It's 666 South and State Street. Grabbing our order to go, but before we take off, we do have some questions for the owner. Um, so before we dive into Mark of the Beast Show, I wanted to ask my boy Andrew real quick. Um, all right, Andrew, so my first question would have to be, uh, what would you recommend to those new to the vegan dining style? The whole point of what we do here is trying to make stuff that's like as close to comfort food, like stuff that we, you know, stuff that I missed basically. I've been vegan a long time. Wanted like chicken sandwiches, things like that. I would definitely go with any of our chicken stuff. The chicken sandwich is super good. Um, we got a pretty good burger. Uh, but our chicken stuff is hands down our best sellers and like it's nice easy like intro to vegan food because it tastes like you know a chicken sandwich does and it's delicious. My second question would have to be what's the food made of uh, to make it taste like meat or emulate meat? So it depends on what kind of meat you're trying to emulate. We have two, two types of chickens. We've got wings and then we've got the chicken that we make in-house. It's made out of seitan which is uh, wheat gluten basically so it's effectively like really dense bread but if you cook it in different techniques you can get different textures you can get different consistencies so you know you can have something thick like turkey you know like like deli sliced turkey or you can have kind of a lighter fluffier meat like chicken um, and then they also make one the our wings are made out of soy and it gets that really nice like pull apart kind of texture to where uh, it has almost the same feeling as chicken which makes it really nice to eat. All right, sweet, thanks Thanks for that, Andrew. Uh, thanks for having us over. Uh, this one right here is the chicken and fries. It's from uh, Mark of the Bistro. I'm gonna put the address right here. And then um, this this too is uh, their chopped cheese. This is actually why I went there, because they have chopped cheese, so it's like a Philly cheesesteak. And then this one right here, this is from Bud's, Bud's Salt Lake City. Uh, this is also vegan, so all of this is vegan. All right, before we dive in, I'm gonna say a quick prayer. All right. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for the many blessings. Uh, thank you for this uh, beautiful food that we are about to partake that may strengthen and nourish our bodies. Please bless the hands that help uh, make the food that they may be blessed and they may be well. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, there we go. First thing, first thing I'm going to have to try is this chicken. Uh, so vegan chicken. Check this out. Come closer. Vegan chicken, tried in the dipping sauce. Oh wow. All right, it does, it does taste like chicken, but it tastes like it's way more tender. Super tender. Look at that. So I, I'm not really sure what this is made of, but I think, um, I think he was telling me it was made out of bread. It's breading. But it is bomb, and their homemade ranch. They say that they uh, they make it indoor. They have their own homemade ranch. It's bomb. All right, it has the texture of meat. Tastes like meat, but it's way more tender. Full of flavor. It's seasoned really well. All right, we're gonna try these <laughs> vegan <laughs> vegan fries. <laughs> you guys never had vegan fries. It does taste bomb though, I'm not gonna lie. This is my first time uh, having a whole vegan meal. 
But yeah, so chicken and fries, bomb. The bomb.com. So now we're gonna jump into the chopped cheese, man. Look at this. this thing's a monster. All right, guys. Cheers. Let's, let's just go right in. All right, guys. Already, immediately, it tastes like it's a, like a, it's almost like a meatball sandwich to me. Man, this tastes like a, a regular Philly cheesesteak, just a lot cleaner. Damn, son. Ooh. Yeah, so, vegan, all this is plant-based, which is insane. Because it, it has almost the consistency of meat, like ground beef. They have a cheese, I don't know if it's vegan cheese, I don't know if that's a thing, but nice and it's nice and spicy, I like my food spicy. I give it a double thumbs up. It tastes like meat, the consistency of meat. To be honest, I can't even taste the difference. If you guys were eating this, you couldn't even tell it was everything was plant-based. You guys got me convinced, man, I just might go vegan permanently. Mm. All right, and I almost forgot our bed for the video. We got here some apple juice. <sighs> some vegan apple juice. <laughs> All right, so, so now we're going to dive into our Bud's. Bud's Salt Lake City, another vegan spot. Man, that's crazy. This looks just like me. Look at this. So we got in here our vegan meat, uh, some bell peppers, grilled onions, and then it looks like they got a cheese sauce on the bottom. Cheers. Right off the top, it's a lot, there's a lot of uh, Philly cheesesteak flavor. There's a steak flavor, the cheese, bell peppers and onions, incorporating that natural sweetness. And whatever meat substitute they have, it tastes just like steak. And <clears throat> these guys have been open since 2012, so they're doing really well. If you guys have never had a vegan sandwich or vegan uh, Philly cheesesteak, this is definitely a banger, bro. Look at this. Dude, it's bomb. It looks like a real che Philly cheesesteak. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> How can this taste like meat and still not be meat? Nah, y'all gotta be lying. Y'all are lying. Y'all just say it's vegan. Really, it's really meat, huh? This is real steak. Y'all capping big time, bro. Uh, let's see. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give Bud's the, the win on this, on the Philly cheesesteak. Just because it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Like, um... Yeah, uh, going into this video, I was I was kind of hoping to be disappointed, but I'm not. I actually enjoyed everything. Uh, let's see, out of ten, I'd give the the Bud Salt Lake City. I'd give them a 8.9, 9.2. No, I'd, I'd give Bud Salt Lake City a 9.2 on my Philly cheese steak radar, and that's against the real meat. And then for Mark the B Show, you guys are doing really well too. For my first vegan meal, I definitely gotta give you guys a 10 out of 10 for being open since only February 2019. You guys are doing amazing. Uh, hopefully when the whole COVID situation calms down, everyone's gonna be back at business uh, full time. But but yeah, for a first time vegan uh, meal, you guys are doing really well. If you guys like the content, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, be part of the notification game. And uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. But anyways, as always, Simon Food Surfer. Peace and love, baby. Until we eat again. Signing off.
need to start working out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs>